Hello and welcome to Microx in 3 minutes. Today, we'll give a brief overview of the recently released Docker extension. Select Add Extensions from the Extension section, then type Microx in the search box. If you click on the extensions detail, you can view the screenshot of the extension and some features and links. Return to the top, then select Install. The installation will start and you can access the extension's homepage after a brief delay. Since it's possible that the port configuration needs to be changed, the extension is not launched by default. Asynchronous APIs for Kafka or WebSockets can be also enabled and the default ports can be changed to prevent collisions if you click on Settings. Click Launch Microx when you're ready. The extension will start to pull the containers required to run. Depending on your internet connection, it could take a couple of minutes. You will be given the URL to the Microx dashboard once the containers are operational. You now have a functional Microx instance. Let's use the new Direct API to mock an API. Add Direct API by clicking the button, then choose the REST API. Please complete the path, version, and name fields for your API. Fill out your mock's reference payload, so this, is will, this will be your mock. Check the information, and if you are ready, create your service. To view the details, click on the service name. Expand the Get Beers operation to display and copy the mock URL. You can use your preferred API program or a new browser tab to query it using this URL. Your mock entity will be returned. Finally, if you need to free up some resources and ports, you can stop the running containers by clicking Stop Microx. When you need to mock and test your APIs, you can always restart Microx. Thanks for watching and see you next time.